Sun Chemical in Midsummer Norton. And we'll be talking to some of the Sun Chemical team to find out why they've made this investment in a dedicated digital printing facility and how it positions them to meet the evolving market needs of digital printing. Welcome to our global technology headquarters here at Midsummer Norton. This is where we develop our digital inks for Sun Chemical. This is the culmination of uh, some planning that we've had over a number of years to really make a focal point for our digital business in terms of technology. We've always invested in, in good people and we've, uh, we've always had good equipment and invested in the latest equipment to help us develop our products. But what we needed was a, a space that allowed us to collaborate better internally and to also collaborate with partners and customers together. And we've got a fantastic new space to do that uh, and bring everything together in one place. It's about 1,500 square metres of floor space um, and housing about 70 scientists. The staff, predominantly chemists, as you'd expect, because we're a, you know, a formulation team. But we've also got engineers and people with other physical science backgrounds, as well as some staff from what you could call traditional print, so maybe who worked in flexo packaging printing before. So we've got a good mix of skills to support the work here. And we're part of Sun Chemical and DIC's sort of global network of labs, so um, we can reach out to those labs for extra support as needed. But uh, we're pretty self-sufficient, so we have everything here we need to support the digital business of Sun Chemical. We've got everything in one place and in essentially one building, so we can move through the various parts of the development process in one area. So we can talk to our customers and our partners, we can talk to them about pigments uh, that we're going to use, we can talk to them about dispersions, we can talk about the effects that other chemicals that we're going to use in the formulation might have, and we can look at how things jet in a, in a, in a print head, and we can take everything from there and put it in a printer. So we can look at everything from the start of the process of development right the way through to the end and actually show some prints and look at what the effect is of all that technology that we put in together ourselves and with our customers and see how it looks as a printed form. Also, when we planned the space, we, we specifically designed it so that we had room to accommodate customers' equipment so they can move maybe one of their head modules in or one of their drying units or, or one of their circulation systems and they can work with us in sort of collaboration here and we specifically sort of lined it up with a conference room as well so we can host people for you know multiple days or whatever so we can complete a program together working in this in this space. We've always had good equipment and good people so that was fine but we used to be in a very sort of cramped and a space that was very divided, divided up so our aim was really to make a, a, a large flexible working space so we can move equipment in and out because things are always changing you know we need new printers we need new modules and so on so we wanted it very flexible and modular and that was the, the key aim both on the ground floor and upper floor uh, which, which fulfill different functions so that was a key aspect the other was to really make it a, a very pleasant environment as well because you know having large windows lots of natural daylight making it a, a place where people can work comfortably and be uh, you know be very happy in their work so the modularity and the comfort were the, the paramount aspects for us over a long period of time i mean many developments now involve sort of high technical challenges so the projects take a long time so you're collaborating with different people over a long period of time on the same project so it gives us a space where we can invite people in at various points during the development of a press or of a system uh, or of an ink, bring them in, work with them on the piece that's really important at that time, and then come back and bring it all together later on in the project. So it really gives us somewhere where we can host every element of the development process, however long that takes. It really is to accommodate the full spectrum of what we do, short-term and long-term development. The lab is broadly split into two parts. So on the upper floor, we've got our sort of formulation area where we're putting together basic raw materials and into inks and then characterizing them in all aspects. So that's things like particle size, uh, viscosity, uh, surface wetting, etc. On the ground floor, we've got the area dedicated to how those fluids work in print heads and optimizing things like waveforms and so on. And then obviously putting those tested fluids into full printers and so on to, to fully explore their properties. So broadly, that's the split between the two floors. And uh, yeah, it's a lot of tools here and a lot of activities.